The restaurant on the hill in Boulder is celebrating 100 years in business this year with a block party tomorrow evening. The sink has been part of the CU experience for its entire existence, including when I was a student there much more recently than 100 years ago. So I had the honor of taking a look at the history. This was my first time back here since graduating. As a CU alum, I of course remember The Sink, the restaurant at the corner of 13th and Pennsylvania on the hill. The walls covered in caricature artwork and the low ceilings covered in signatures. No chance I'm going to be able to find my, my name up there, I don't think. We'll get to that later. But 20 plus years ago, I didn't appreciate the history. Of course, we all had heard the story about Robert Redford working here in the 50s. So he was asked to leave school and he was wondering, wondering what to do and got a job here as a janitor. The sink was already steeped in lore by the time brothers Mark and Chris Heinrichs bought the restaurant in 1992. They were 26 and 24 at the time with no business experience. Looking back, yeah, it's, it's amazing we, we pulled it off they would be tasked with preserving a history that stretched back 70 years earlier. Before a restaurant opened here in 1923, the building was the Sigma Nu Fraternity House. The restaurant is the basement. That's where we're sitting right now. This is a basement window. Yeah. <laughs> Originally called Sunken Gardens, it was soon nicknamed The Sink. It was officially renamed that in 1949 and began to take on its current look in the 50s and 60s when artist Lloyd Cavage started painting the colorful caricatures on the walls. There's some rhyme or reason to some of the people back here, but a vast majority of the people on the, on the walls here were just people Lloyd would, he'd literally go outside and, hey, can I paint you? Come inside and paint them on the really? wall. Really? Yeah. The Heinrichs brothers brought Lloyd back in the 90s to restore some of the paintings. It's the last time any new art was added, but not the last time anyone would write on the walls, specifically the ceiling. Yeah, I, I have no idea what's up there. Somewhere along the way, it became a tradition for CU students to sign the sink ceiling when they graduate. Graduation morning, we have a line down the block for kids waiting yes. to sign their name on the ceiling. I'm sure my name's up there, but I have no memory of it. I know we came here. I know we came for the This tradition. is going on camera. I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's about all I remember. Hey, it's hard to remember 21 years ago. Anyway, I'm not the only one with fond, if somewhat fuzzy, memories of this place. My college graduation party was at the sink. I mean, the sink, anytime we come home, ever since she's a baby, we always have to go to the sink. At the Museum of Boulder, curators started collecting stories from customers, lovingly called sink rats, and their memorabilia. When you talk wow. about the sink rats, I think we could also call them pack rats <laughs> because so many of them had things that were in their basement. The museum unearthed old menus, photos, and a newspaper article confirming a rumor. And that newspaper article in the 60s um, said that the sink served the most beer in the United States in that time. It was 3-2 beer, but that didn't matter to students like Estes Banks, a running back for the CU Buffs from 63 to 66. One of my roommates um, had 17 picture, pictures of beer one day. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so, so uh, that, that's a whole other story. But yeah, we all hung at this sink. It was a great place to be. It was a wonderful place just to, just to be a part of the uni university environment. Wow. So there were two places, the sink, and then there was two loggies. And we, you, you, you hung in between those two places. Ah, two loggies. The popular concert venue next to the sink closed in 2003. A reminder that so much has changed on the hill. So you have to wonder, how did something like the sink survive to eventually get the attention of the Food Network? and President Obama in 2012. It's not the kind of place you'd think necessarily would be one of the most popular restaurants. It's not for everybody, yeah. right? Yeah. And we get the complaints of the ceilings are too low, I'm never going to go back. <laughs> well, we can't really change that. Uh, you know, we just listen, listen to what we can change and, and, and try to figure out if that's something worth doing. They've had offers to open a second location, to which they've replied, how? How would you ever recreate this? It's the people, right? It, it's not about us. I mean, yeah, we learned how to operate a restaurant efficiently and do all the business stuff, but the fact that this means so much to so many people for over so many decades is the strength. We show up every day to keep that going forward. <laughs> 
Uh, and the sink is hosting its 100th anniversary block party tomorrow from 2 to 8 p.m. right outside the restaurant on the hill. Free to come out and enjoy it. Uh, you can pay 38 bucks for some uh, limited edition swag. Uh, the exhibit at the Museum of Boulder, meanwhile, is open into January. So you have plenty of time to check that out. Uh, and I have a really fun little um, item, a memento they're giving out to people at the museum when you go to the display there. Lisa, the uh, Lisa's a sea alum too. So there's the sink rat. So pin. cool. Yep. The sink Aww. rat, which is what they call customers. And then there's the sink angel. I Aww. did not I did not know this story. The angel that's painted on the sink wall when you first walk in uh -huh. is supposed to represent the innocent college student who's being corrupted by oh, no. the devils. That would be mine. That would be for me. No, yeah. no, I'm the angel. <laughs> You're the devil. And I was the one corrupted, yeah. Uh, you yes. know, it's funny, at five feet tall, I never noticed how low, how, the, how low the ceilings were. It was just, you're like, oh, this feels like home. Yeah. It's like six feet, three inches in some parts. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. And uh, The yeah. only reason I was able to actually sign the ceiling was because yes. it was so low. Uh, so all this history, though, and yeah. you know, you, uh, you don't, A, know it, when you're going to school there. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, to go it, back. it was really fun. I hadn't been back since graduation. So love it.